Hey there, collectors. It's Steven here once again with another Pokemon video for you. And this time, it is going to be a little Johto set for you from Tomy. And this will be the starters. We have Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. Tomy, just in time for the holiday season, reissued some older sculpts. So this way, you can go ahead and pick them up. However, they are $11.99. Yeah, on the shelf at Toys R Us and maybe some other retailers near you. Are you really thinking about getting these? Well, let's take a look to see whether or not they're worth adding into your collection. So first up, we're actually going to take a look at the packaging here because surprisingly, the packaging is different from what you would find on the shelf. Now, for these three little critters here, we do have a nice blister display. We can see all three in package, but if you go ahead and you turn it around, you're actually going to see three stock pictures for Cyndaquil, Chikorita, and Totodile there. No product information for other releases. Hmm. Wonder why. But anyway, it's a nice, clean packaging design, and it makes for a nice display if you're a mint and sealed box collector. So first off, we're going to take a look at Chikorita here. And unfortunately, one theme that you're going to notice is that these figures do not have the best paint applications to them. And they do have kind of a pastel, chalky-like paint application around the eyes for Chikorita and Totodile. But one other thing you're going to notice is that on the trademark and copyright information, they're all going to say 2009. So yeah. They've had plenty of chances to get this right, and so many years later, unfortunately, even though they're smaller, they don't really look all that amazing up close. However, we do have all of the details you would expect for Chikorita to have. We have a nice sculpt for the leaf, where you can actually see a line running down the middle of it, which is cool. We have all of the little seedlings around Chikorita's neck, which is great. We do have actual sculpt marks for the eyes and the mouth, which is actually pretty impressive. Like I said before, the only real drawback for Chikorita here would be the paint. It's not necessarily the best, but hey, the sculpt is good. Next up in the set, we have the Firestarter Cyndaquil. Unfortunately, I feel that Cyndaquil is pretty average and there really isn't too much going on here. The flame on Cyndaquil's back really isn't too much to write home about. However, if you are familiar with the Rugrats, it does remind me of Chucky Finster. So we do have a sort of bluish greenish paint for Cyndaquil in the darker spots. And we do have those nice lines for Cyndaquil's eyes. Those are actually surprisingly pretty clean. There is some mold degradation on this one because again, this is all the way back from 2009. So yeah, Cyndaquil is pretty basic. It does look like there is a seam at the neck for articulation, but I assure you there is not a joint present. Don't go trying to twist Cyndaquil's head because then you'll have a headless Cyndaquil and you don't want that. He does have some paint application on the toes where his feet would be, which is actually applied pretty well. It's a nice gray. But other than that, Cyndaquil is pretty basic and there's not much more to say there. And last up for the set, we have the Water Starter Totodile. So, Totodile. Admittedly, he is probably my favorite of the Johto starters when it comes to competitive play because you gotta love Sheer Force for Alligator, right? Right. But here, in this set, I think they really dropped the ball. Reason being is that he has a very ugly seam line where it comes to where his head connects to his neck and where the jaw connects in. Yeah, it doesn't really look that great. It's definitely something that is going to uh, draw your eye and not for the best reasons either. Now, for the chalky pastel-like paint, it is still present, much more so than the other two figures, I feel, especially when you're looking at it up close. However, from far away, Totodile actually looks like the best one of the bunch because he has an actual expression that looks like he's ready for battle and he's going to attack. Those of you who are familiar with Ash's Totodile in the anime, yeah, I'm actually giving credit to Ash here. Mark the day on the calendar. You will know that Totodile is one happy boy, and he likes to get into some mischief. And to be honest, this Totodile here reminds me of Ash's, so that is really cool to see here. 
And here is your size comparison with some other figures you just might have. So as you can see, these are perfect for minifigures to represent the Johto starters in your collection, whether it would be with other Tomy figures, SH figures, D-Arts, Nendoroid, whatever you have, these would be great to fit in. So buy them now, skip them, or wait for a deal. Gotta be completely honest with you. These are $12.00 for three figures, and they have been reissued time and again since 2009. Not exactly worth it. Now, I know what some of you are probably saying. Steven, three figures for 12 bucks. That's not too bad. Tomy actually releases two packs of figures for five or six dollars, depending on the retailer, of course. So you could get <laughs> better quality figures, and you can get one more for about the same price. Yeah, don't quite know exactly what warrants one less figure for the same price. Now, something to take note of, they actually have released in a sort of deluxe set, if you will, the entire family line of these three starters for $30. So maybe that comes out to something that would be better for everyone, but keep in mind, they're all in this same smaller scale size. And some of you older collectors, chances are if you've been collecting and you've been holding on to some of the stuff since your childhood, you might actually have them. So it might not be worth the purchase. I do have to say, though, if you really want an accurate representation of the Johto starters in your collection, you really can't get much better than this until an import company gets to them. So if you're looking for a stocking stuffer for a young one, these aren't too bad. But realistically speaking, for that $12, there are Definitely better Pokemon figures for you to get on the market. Well, folks, that's the end of this review. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow me on social media to catch more behind-the-scenes shenanigans and updates. The end card should be popping up now with more hand-selected STR goodness for you to watch, so check out some of those videos. Be sure to check the description, too, to see where you can buy this figure or others like it and some cool links like the credits for this video and other ways you can help out the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.